Welcome to Cooking Mama, where we review the best and the worst cooking on the internet, and we have a lot of fun on it. In the past, we have watched some of the most wild cooking that you've ever seen. We have seen the famous, the infamous, we've seen it all. Except, except, I didn't know that DSP, yeah, that's right, the one I just mentioned a few minutes ago, Dark Side Phil, had a cooking channel or a cooking playlist at one point. So we're going to go in and we're gonna watch some of his cooking. Now, I don't know, it could be that DSP is a good chef, but for some reason, I don't think he is. So let's watch, shall we? Let's watch together some lovely cooking here on Cooking Mama, okay? Let's do it, all right? Let's do it. You ready? You ready to get comfortable? Let's do it. Here we go. Let's put this in here. Hold on, I gotta change this so that it says Cooking Mama. There we go, Cooking Mama. All right, here we go, everybody. Let's, without any further ado, let's do it. All right, everyone, so this is it, the big day. Today, I'm going to attempt to make Wait, in the first seven seconds of the video, he just gets roasted by his girlfriend? Watch her expression! All right, everyone, so this is it, the big day. Today, I'm going to attempt to She just rolls her eyes at him! Oh my god! Make a pot of my famous family recipe, handed down through the generations, Italian homemade sauce. Yeah. Hmm. Homemade Italian sauce made with Hunt's, and I can't remember the name of this brand, but two pre-made tomatoes. Hmm. Yeah, powdered freeze-dried cheese. Hmm. Yes. And stuff out here. No, not here. <laughs> Trying to clean up the countertops a little bit. So I have as much room as possible. Okay, wait, before I roast him, before I roast him too hard, I will say he's got a very clean setup and I can respect that, okay? I can respect it. It's very organized, it's very clean, except for this meat sitting on the counter. Possible. But it might be on like a clear plate. But I gotta give him credit. His kitchen is organized and clean, which is not always what we get. Better than Dave. I'm surrounded by ingredients. I really am. I'm surrounded by different things that we're going to be using <clears throat> to make the sauce, <laughs> including a giant pot. What? Very A giant pot. I love it. I just, listen, the man has a cadence, okay? D like him or hate him, I know obviously most people have very good reasons for not liking DSP. The man has a has a, a killer cadence. I got a big ol' pot. It's herbs and spices. Ah, yes. Mi hold on, hold on. Let's take a look at the various herbs using and spices. To make the sauce, including a giant pot. Various... Onion salt, red pepper, garlic salt, and dried oregano leaves. Two salts, two dried pre-done salts. I didn't see any fresh garlic, but all right. Herbs and spices, different spoons and such. And of course, Ooh. over here, all kinds of ingredients that we're gonna use to whip up not only sauce, but some homemade meatballs as well. Mm, okay, all right, so, all right. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically prepare some of the ingredients uh, that you need to get and, and uh, toss into this pot. Oh no, wait, wait, hold on a second, wait. You can see right here, hold on. He's holding a camcorder. Like he's holding like a digital camcorder. Is he gonna try to cook this one-handed? 
you can see in his reflection, oh my God, oh no, who's gonna try and cook it one-handed? Oh God, please no, no. And, uh, toss into this pot in order to get a base, which basically the goal is going to be to coat the bottom of the pot with certain ingredients before you start actually adding the vegetable components that are going to be the meat of your sauce, so to speak, okay? So I actually have right here, this is a notebook that is over a decade old. It's canned tomatoes are not bad. Fresh tomatoes are good for the two months they're in season, then the other 10 can taste better. To be fair, there isn't anything strictly wrong with canned tomatoes. I think it's perfectly fine. But if you're gonna claim that you're gonna be making like an ancient family recipe, I know that he, I, I can never tell if he's joking around or being serious, but if you're gonna like claim you're making a family recipe, like the Hunt's tomato paste, uh, keep in mind it's tomato paste. That's not, it's not like chunk tomatoes. That's tomato paste. He just bought the tomato paste. Like, come on. It's a notebook that back when I was moving out of my parents' house for the very first time, I believe it was like 2004, uh, that I wrote down the actual recipe on how to make the homemade Italian sauce. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show you the whole recipe. And the goal of this video, or these videos, that because it is definitely going to be... Mellow Anarchist says, I just want to be clear. I am an arrogant cook, and I do use canned tomato. Fair. Credit where credit is due. I don't want to roast him too hard for the canned tomato, except for the fact that it's paste. But, yeah. Several videos is not to show you step by step how to make it, because let's face it, cooking is not exactly an exact science. Even though there may be a recipe, everyone's going to turn a recipe into their own creation. Okay, all right. Depending okay. on yeah, he's right. their own personal tastes. Who the fuck cooks in latex gloves? N no one cooks in latex gloves. Usually people use heat resistant materials, but okay. And how things turn out. In this particular case, I am going to add a couple elements to the sauce that is not in this recipe. And in fact, I remember the last time that I made the recipe, there were one or two things that I, I didn't like about it that I'm going to try to adjust on uh -oh. the fly today as I make the sauce. So the way that it works is that you basically prep everything. You're going to have to get chopped veggies, chopped salt pork, all different things, toss it into the pot, get the okay. pot. He just touched the meat. Okay. If you're going to if you're going to wear gloves that are not like food prep gloves, um, but if you're going to wear gloves while cooking, the point of the gloves is to avoid cross contamination and to avoid infections. But he just touched the he just touched the meat with the hand that he was previously using for the camera. So now he's going to immediately contaminate his camera and everything else he touches with that glove. Literally, what? Base going. Then as that's going, then you make the meat. It just completely it just completely defeats the point. Like what's the point? Mixing bowl to make the meatballs. You set the meatballs aside and then we're actually going to let's let's right, ladies and gentlemen, hand grate tomatoes. That's how you oh, really make it. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ho 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 sauce. You don't buy the shit from the store, right? Most people say, oh I'm gonna make sauce, and then they just, you know, they base some tomato paste or whatever. And they'll they'll you know toss a few herbs and spices into it. That's not Hey! You have tomato paste right over there. Don't you lie to us. He better not fucking lie to us. Oh, if he lies to us, that's gonna make me so mad. Sauce, you need to hand grate the tomatoes in order for it to be real and genuine. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And then of course, adding all that to the pot. Um, and then it basically, once you have your sauce together and you've added the meat to the sauce in the pot, the pot needs to simmer all day long. It is a four to four and a half hour long process. And, you know, a lot of people don't have the patience for it. Four to four and a half hours of, you know, cooking versus going out and buying it in a can or whatever, making a, a cheaper ah. alternative, like I said, without the real tomatoes or whatever. And, um, no, that's how you really do it.
And it's funny because what, I'm, what I've actually done is I've spaced out today so that I'm going to be doing something for work where every maybe 20 to 30 minutes I could take a break, come down here and stir the pot because that's what you need to do as it simmers all day. You come down here every 20, 30 minutes, open it up, take a wooden spoon, stir it up. By the way, I just want to note he is literally touching everything in the kitchen right now with the glove that he touched the meat with. Just contamination central. Taste it. How does it taste? Does it need anything added? Does it taste too salty? Does it taste too, you know, too much of one thing or another? Adjust it on the fly, add some components as you cook it, and then continue to cook it. So that's how it's going to work today. We're going to set it up. It takes about an hour initially to set it up and to get all the components ready for it or into it. And then we're actually going to go ahead and have it start simmering. So, first things first, I'm gonna start reading, get started here with what it says to do, prepare the things for the bottom of the pot, and go from there. Alrighty then. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we still got no, the gloves No on. Italian music. I can't really do the stereotyped Italian music. There you go. <laughs> Not further along the process of making the sauce, my sweetie has chopped all the garlic and started with the onion. And we have put some yummy, delicious salt pork in this pot. Once it starts coating it, then we add the garlic okay. and all the goodness. All right. It's very, mm -hmm. very eye-watering in here. It's about to be because now I'm cutting the onion and you're going to really start to be affected in the eyes. Trust me. <laughs> I used to be bad. Like I used to, when I used to work in the food services industry all through high school and even into college and I used to do all this stuff with, with food, onions always got me no matter what. And my boss used to come to the back and he used to say, Phil, it's okay. You don't have to cry. Tell me about... Keep in mind, Uncle Gumbald, I have not seen this. I have not seen any of this. This is a fresh watch. It could be that he makes a stellar sauce and we get blown the fuck out. In fact, I would love it if that happened, but I don't know if it will. Let's wait. What's going on? I'd be like, you dick, I'm cutting onions. What do you think's going on? I'd say, Phil, if you could, please don't bring your personal problems to work. <laughs> He'd be a real dick about it. He was just, you know, he was joking, and yeah. I had a, I had thick skin, so I laughed too. But ah, uh, uh, yes, that's funny. So, DSP, yeah, we are preparing, known for having thick skin. We are preparing skin. many ingredients right now. Oh God, it's hitting me. Oh many, God, many ingredients for the sauce. Actually, this the onion, I believe, is actually for the meatballs. Ooh, mm -hmm. meatballs. The handmade meatballs that we're going to make. I've never had a handmade meatball before. Really? Mm-mm. I'm not mm. Italian, remember? Oh, yeah. We don't do meatballs. We do potatoes. Handmade potatoes? Yes, handmade potatoes. And more potatoes. There we go. So there's our minced... Got that, that garlic. Onion. And that onion. Move that to the side. It's definitely a weird choice to use like a like a small knife like that. Usually people would use like a proper chef's knife for a number of reasons. It's safer and also it's a lot easier, but you know, whatever. If you don't got a nice chef knife, whatever. Let's see how our salt pork is doing. It's just starting to warm no! up, so it hasn't done anything yet. Oh. I'm actually gonna turn up the heat a little more I just to he was get it initially. Touch it again. Warm. Mm -hmm. We need that salt, salt for it to coat, coat the bottom of the pot. I was so worried. Mm -hmm. Then we can start adding other ingredients to start our base for the sauce. Mmm, delicious sauce. <clears throat> but right now, since we're waiting for that, which is perfect because you're supposed to wait for that, we're going to start making the meatballs. Which means we're going to get our chopped meat and or ground I am, beef. I am, I'm a little bit concerned that he's not going to change the gloves at all. Keep in mind, as far as we can tell, those are the gloves that he touched and cut the meat with. We haven't seen him change gloves at all. He was wiping his hands. Oh, he was wiping it. Did, was he washing the gloves off? Which is really what it is, but my mom calls it chop meat. <laughs> okay, he just, he just opened the garbage can with his hand. Oh boy, here we go. Wow. 
We've also got Italian sausage pre-made because that, no, I'm not going to make my own sausage. I mean, that's ridiculous. <sighs> Can you get an authentic Italian experience mm -hmm. in our own home? So. Mmm, too beef. Yeah, I need to figure out how to easily get these open because I've never... There's no way to easily get them open, at least from my experience. Scissors, maybe? I don't know. Knife's not going to do it. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean a knife's not going to do it? The easiest way to open those is literally to just slice down the side. You just go and then you, you fold it out like that. It's like the easiest thing in the world. Okay, whatever. I have to sterilize the scissors afterwards. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good yep. at least. Mmm, tube meat. They really gotta come up with more appealing packaging. Well, it just looks... Normally I would get the one that's in the styrofoam with yeah. the plastic, but they didn't have it. Yeah, we were limited. We were limited in our selections of the proper that's ratio fair. of meat to fat. Mm -hmm. When you're actually making... That's fair. Also, tube meat is... Pa meat packaged in the little log is totally fine. Like, it looks weird, but it's completely fine. It's just a different way of wrapping it. Honestly, it's probably less wasteful than styrofoam. Styrofoam sucks. Styrofoam is like really bad for the environment because it can't, it can barely be recycled at all. Anyway. Making handmade meatballs, you actually need fatty meat because if you get one that's lean, you may think, oh, it's healthy. Yeah, but guess what? Your meatballs are gonna turn rock hard. Demon Speaker says, why does his girlfriend sound so snarky and sarcastic? Does she like secretly hate him or something? I don't know the whole lore, but she roasts him all the time. Like, on their show, on his show, it was famous for her to make fun of him. Like, I remember watching, um, I think it was him and his, his girlfriend playing like Phasmophobia or something, like years ago. And she was just ruthlessly mocking him the entire time. Like, I mean, ruthlessly. It, it's just like, yeah, I, I just think that's how she is. I think she's just a, I don't know if she hates him. I just think she likes to like poke at him. And it was part of their dynamic. I don't know anything about whether their relationship was good or bad. It's just funny. I will say it's definitely great for us watching. Mm -hmm. and that's not what you want. You want soft, tender meatballs, not rock hard meat. My grandmother tried making meatballs once. It was the worst thing I had ever tasted in my so life. So, how much meat does the recipe call for? Turn the page. 1.5 ounces. I'm sorry, 1.5 pounds. And this is. Hold on. 16, so I'm only going to use half of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm rinse off my hand for you. Oh, my sweetie was all upset that he was worried he couldn't get his Cento tomatoes. And we had to go, we usually go to Fred Meyer for our groceries, and we got most of the stuff except for the salt pork and I think one or two other things. But then we went to Safeway and they had everything we need. Demon Speaker says, I, uh, it could be playful, it just feels weird. As long as they're happy, I wish these two random people the best. I have no idea who the guy is, though. <laughs> Wait, really? You don't know who DSP is? DSP is like one of the most infamous and or famous internet figures. He was a uh hmm, he was a gaming streamer who was known for his incredible gamer rage. Like incredible gamer rage, okay? This guy would get so mad. He would also do uh like videos where he would try stuff and they were always very awkward. He did a video where he tried Axe body wash and he just like set a camera outside of his shower and then showered with the camera set like above where his dick would be. So you just got to watch him, watch him like sort of awkwardly trying to do, to talk to the viewers while washing himself in the shower. DSP is a meme lord, okay? Uh, I can't say he's super talented. He basically put himself into financial ruin um, and there was multiple points in his career where he was basically shaking down his audience. Like he would literally be like, you guys, like, like you guys got to donate more because otherwise I'm not going to be able to afford my house. Like I got this house because I thought you guys were going to keep paying me. And like, you're not, oh God, it's.
he anyway his career more or less ended when he uh got banned from twitch because he forgot his stream was running and he decided to have a quick wank on camera so his stream was just running and he just like sits down with like uh lotion and 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 uh uh T uh, and tissues and then he just starts beating off and then only at the very end does he realize that wait was he was he not on twitch he was on the other one he's still e-begging like crazy oh no oh no anyway that's dsp let's get back to the cooking though just so you know yeah it's pretty bad including my sweetie cento tomatoes you need a town tomato oh Take a listen, honey. Ooh. We got it finally. It's hitting this the right nice temperature. Sizzle. You know what it kind of looks like? Kind of looks like little ham cubes. So what we're gonna want to do? Only it's fat. As you can see, look at the fat coming off of it. See that? Starting to coat the pot. Ooh. You want to move it around so the bottom is completely coated. It's not yet. As you mm -hmm. can see. I honestly feel bad for the guy getting caught like that on Twitch. Poor guy, never trust the cameras. Okay. I am so paranoid around my camera. I do I actually don't know how you would leave your stream on when you were if you wanted to go jacket. Like there's so many ways that there's like so many steps. Like maybe if he had like a really basic setup but like now I, maybe maybe the tools were different when he was streaming that but like you think it was a stunt i heard some people say it was a stunt but at the same time the stream station the hog cranking station should not be the same place I mean, yeah generally that's a general that's a generally wise rule but you know Sometimes it's cool. Sometimes the studio is a cool place to to uh, be sexy. Maybe it makes you feel confident. I don't know. I'm just trying to be like I don't know. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be fair. You know. See, probably another minute or two, and enough that fat will start to reduce in there. <laughs> yeah, quoting. I did kill Joy. So not yet. Cool, yeah, but not yet. Not some kind of spices. All right, so there's another half thing of meat I gotta take out here. It's too tight that side, this side, I guess. True, Nisrathi! All right, so half would be about there, right? Mm-hmm, about, give or take. Yeah, okay, good, he's got it, he's got it. He's got it figured out. Meat. Yeah, it's Shut the Fuck Up Friday, remember. We're gonna find that out. Meat. Okay, credit to DSP. DSP is unironically a funny guy. Like, he's funny in a very weird way, but he's an unironic, like that's just, the way that he commentates on things is funny. I'm sorry, it's just true. Morgan Morgan Sucks says Morgan Sucks says what if you did a weekly IRL cooking segment where you cook imp submitted recipes Me and Doe have been it's it's not going to be anytime immediately soon because there's a lot of work that needs to be done but Doe and I have begun putting together the plans to set up a cooking a cooking film station downstairs in our big kitchen so I can't give you any specific times. I don't know when it'll be, but uh, Doe and I have been have been sitting down and working out what we would need to set up in there. We already have some of the pieces, and um, we would love. We, we're gonna we're going to be doing some really cool cooking, so I'm very excited for that. Doe is a really good cook, by the way, like really talented. So, and I'm quite proud of my own abilities, even though I don't cook very much anymore. Um, yeah, I have been streaming so much and whatever. But yeah, it'll be sick. Let's continue, though. And then I'll be part of the cooking content sphere. And people can roast my cooking. And I love it when people roast my cooking. So, well, not really. But, like, I love it when people 
love lovingly roast me. I don't like it when people are mean, but I like it when people lovingly roast me. Do I like mac and cheese? Yes. Mint chocolate flavored stuff? Yes. And cheesecakes? I fucking love cheesecakes. Yeah, I could do a cooking mama where I review my own cooking. It's gonna be great. I have a lot of big plans. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're mixing up our meat ball concoction here, okay? Mm -hmm. It looks like, unfortunately, we may have put a little bit too much of something because it looks a yes, little I dry. Yes, I love anti-chef. I think maybe I the recipe thought that the eggs would be a little bit bigger. So I may have to add in one additional egg here because they are look, looking a little dry. But this is onion, the, the uh, ground beef, bre Italian breadcrumbs, Parmesan and grated Romano cheese, and uh, deliciousness. Some eggs, maybe one or two other things. Yeah, you know what, honey? We need one more egg. Mm. We do. This is uh, too dry. All right. I mean, honestly, so far, not so bad. Mm. Oh my God. Okay, the fact that there are sobies in his fridge, this dates this video so hard. Nobody drinks Sobe anymore. That is like the most 2009 to 2011 thing that you can possibly imagine. Holy shit. Most of you don't even know. Most of you are like, what the hell? It was, it was like the biggest meme drink at the time. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a slice of pizza. I gotta eat my sli slice of pizza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have the same energy as frosted tips, says Artemy. <laughs> true, fucking true. <laughs> fucking true. Close this up. check back on that salt fork. Mmm. Smells really good. Looks way different too. Mm-hmm. Once it starts to actually simmer and coat the pan, you can see, or coat the pan, coat the pot. That's exactly what it's supposed to look like. We just gotta be careful. We don't want it to burn. That's why we reduce the heat so much to low. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we got our extra egg. This should definitely make it a better mixture now. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have never, never made homemade meatballs before. If you're gonna, if you're gonna wear gloves, you should wear the gloves for when you mush the meat together, and then you should throw the gloves away and grab a new pair of gloves. Like, he's mixing the meat with a fork. That is not a good idea. Mixing meat with your hands lets you really knead the flavor into it. And if the meat texture grosses you out, that's what the gloves are for. Yeah, my grandmother uh, did not know how to make meatballs. She tried one time. Mm -hmm. That was like the worst experience <laughs> of my life. I will never forget how horrible it was. I don't think anyone in my family like even had the had like the gall to take a second bite. It was horrible. All right, so this is almost ready to start forming the balls. There you go. I'm just trying to make sure that it's evenly distributed. That egg, I don't want. Yeah, no raw egg in the meatballs. That is uh very bad. All right, good. Okay, so. Wait, what? You're gonna cook the meatballs. How is it? What? I'm gonna put my hands in anyway, so I might as well do that. You need to roll the balls in your hand. Size is completely up to you. Okay. Do you like them super big, small, medium? Oh, there he goes. There I he don't goes. like huge meatballs. Me neither. I think if you make huge ones. This is the best way to make sure that your spices are evenly mixed. You have to just knead it with your hands. It's, it really, I know it, it really grosses some people out, but it's your food. Wash your hands well, wear, or wear gloves, but kneading it with your hands is like a really good way to get the flavors in. You can just squeeze it so much more. 
they don't cook through as mm -hmm. well. Make it a little bit more of a raw center. And oh. all uh, Striped Kidder says, um, my fiance has ADHD and he absolutely refuses to cook. I could use some tips and the gloves thing is a helpful tip for me. Don't get the, excuse me, don't get this type of glove. There are extremely cheap, you can order them on Amazon. There are food prep gloves. They're really easy to take on and take off. They're way better than this. Don't get this type of glove. Get food prep gloves, seriously. You'll thank yourself. Yeah, the little clear plastic gloves, they slide on and slide off very easily. Um, they're, they don't, they're like highly heat resistant and they're less likely to melt onto your hands. Yeah. Although I wouldn't recommend using them around heat, but whatever. You literally get like 5,000 for 50 cents. So for making, for example, the subs, the uh, Italian sandwiches that we're gonna make later today. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, small enough. striped kidder, striped kidder. Listen to Danny. Danny is like a god tier chef. Okay, if Danny tells you something, it's good advice. I can tell you that much. Seriously. So that they fit on the bread. So maybe that, maybe even a little smaller than that. Hmm, okay. That's a good size though. Mhm. Mm yeah, I don't like giant meatballs. I've been to a few places where they make them huge, and it's ugh. Don't yeah. like them that size. Then again, I'm not much of a meatball person myself. But that's blasphemy to you. <laughs> well, here we go. This is working out well. Mm -hmm. Let's check back on that salt fork. Mm, okay, quick. I'm not gonna lie. This, this, <sighs> this salt pork base looks really fucking good. I'm actually, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. This looks good so far. Like maybe DSP is actually a really good chef. I've heard, I've heard things about this, but I don't know if it goes off the rails. It's just, whoo. Stir around. It's looking good. There we go, yummy. Wait a minute though, hold on. L haven't you all seen Ratatouille? Anyone can cook. That's the truth. Even a rat, even a stream jerk, stream jerker. Ratatouille. All right, so this is gonna be pretty boring, just making the meatballs. The next step is actually cooking the meatballs, mm -hmm. which will be a little bit more interesting. Mm -hmm, and we'll be back for that one. Uh -huh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So now we're adding our meatballs to the pot because the pot has been prepped properly. Mm -hmm, with the salt pork and garlic base. Correct. She's getting into it. We may have just enough room for them. Electo asks, so I'm guessing you're pretty familiar with Jack at this point if you watch bad YouTube cooking tutorials. We've done some deep dives on Jack. It got to the point we couldn't watch Jack anymore because his current life is really sad. <laughs> he had a stroke and it wasn't it wasn't funny to watch anymore because he's just not doing so good. <laughs> Like his old videos, he's a giant asshole and he makes literally poisonous food. Like there's multiple points in his videos where you can see him eating uncooked chicken. Like he did not cook it close enough, but he had a stroke really recently and it's just, it feels bad to make fun of his videos now. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway amount of meatballs that we made too. Nice. Yes, he was the one who did the bag cooked chicken. He also did that fucking disgusting jello recipe. Oh yeah, he does politics. He's a giant homophobe. We watched some of his political content, which was so toxic. So what you do, you toss them in. Mm -hmm. We already increased the heat. Because mm -hmm. we want them to cook through. And which we're gonna do is for about 20 to 25 minutes. So if you could set that timer to 20 minutes, honey. Mm. 
There we go. Mm -hmm. You gotta let these cook in here, okay? Mm -hmm. And what you do, now I'm actually done. I don't need this stuff anymore. Oh. I'll take this off and actually use my hands. Is we are going to rotate the meatballs with tongs, okay? Alright, alright. I'm... Yep. Honestly, I'm really, really impressed with his cleanliness and organization. He made some serious mistakes early on with cross-contamination, but all things considered, he's got his organization on point. Damn, DSP's doing great! D Dreadful Dave says, I finally have the Demon Mama shortcut, Shark shortcut, Xander Hall shortcut, and the Voss shortcut on my home screen. That's motherfucking Pog. Hell yeah. Thank you. Honored. Striped Kidder says, Demon Mama needs to watch the guy that makes everything into a sausage. I'm sorry, but ordinary sausage is blacklisted. Brr. We don't do ordinary sausage. That's Keffels' thing. I don't like ordinary sauces. It's too staged. It's too silly. It's so silly that I can't even enjoy it anymore. Unfortunately. No offense to the guy. His videos are great. I'm sure you like him. But Keffels does sausage reviews. And it's just too much for me. It's not my thing. I like the... I like the... the um, I like the stuff that's more genuine. I like this. This right here, what we're watching right now, is my favorite type of cooking content. I just, ooh, it's so, I, I love it. It's the real deal. I love seeing people genuinely making food and stuff. Yeah, I just can't handle the sausage. What can I say? I mean, his video, no, no hate to Ordinary Sausage. His videos are really great. They're really high production value. He's a really funny guy. They're just not for me. They cook to make sure that they're golden brown. When these are done, you don't want them to look pink at all. You want them to look golden brown. Because if they're pink, brown. they're raw. That's right. You also don't want them to look dark brown. That means you overcooked them. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think okay. that's what happened with my grandmother because they were, they were dark. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is you just literally cook these for, like I said, the 20 minutes to 25, depending. You know, all depends on your heat and whatever. This is a medium high, so it looks like it's cooking quickly. Once they're done, then you're going to make your sauce. So we actually have 20 minutes of cook time here before we can actually make the sauce. Mm. And the sauce is actually made in the pot. You don't make it outside and mm. toss it in the cook or anything. No, it's all made fresh in the pot, right over the so stove. So you take the meatballs out and you put the sauce stuff in. Oh, uh, yes. So it's basically like a mostly one pot thing. Mmm. Shakily. Uh-huh. So what we need to do is figure out what can we put the meatballs in when they're done. I'm impressed so far. Mm, you can put them on a, on, on, in a bowl or on a plate. Bowl, I'm, I'm impressed so far. Bowl, bowl, right? What can mm -hmm. I say? Plate. Maybe we have plates that are big enough. The large plate might be. You might have to stack like two or three of them, but... Oh, they are sizzling. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rotate them in a second. Mm-hmm. Okay, Yep, line right. the plate so it can catch any grease and fat. So you don't want to eat all that, because ew. See that? They're cooking. Ooh. Yes, they are. They are cooking. Of course, you got to be incredibly careful because you do not want to destroy the shape of your meatball when you're doing it. Yeah, because if you put too much force, yep. you squish it. It's still in Play-Doh state. Right, it's not hard yet. It takes a while. Tarpalicious says, I like my balls smaller, personally. Want to be able to hold a full, a, fit a whole ball in my mouth. Uh, generally, I actually prefer the large meatballs. They are more annoying to eat. I will give you credit for that. But the cool thing about the large meatballs is that, I don't know, when they're done right, they have so much flavor. And you can basically cut one in half or into quarters and then spread it throughout the the um, the spaghetti and meatballs. I don't know. I'm quite a big fan of the large ones, but I understand why people like the smaller ones. So no hate to the small ball havers. While to solidify. Well, it's solid now, but it's in a pliable state. <laughs> 
See the technique I'm using? Mm -hmm. Very gently lift and then release. It'll naturally roll into a new position. Okay. That one did not do it. No. There we go. Mm -hmm. That's true, Gale. I told you we were going no. long tonight. So I'm doing this with every meatball. I cannot wait to try these meatballs and this sauce because I have never oh. had either of them for me before. Mushrooms are like one of my favorite foods in the entire world. So when you mentioned stuffing the the meatballs with mushrooms, Danny, I love mushrooms. I love mushrooms so much. They're like one. Of, they're like literally one of my favorite foods on the planet. I had to. I had to wait. I had to. My sweet had to make sure that I was uh, going to stick around long enough, and that I would not just take his recipe and run off. <laughs> Mushrooms are so fucking good. So as they cook, they will solidify more. And that's what you want. Mm -hmm. you They'll want get that, that outer crust that's right. needed to hold them together. That golden brown crust is what you're mm. looking for. And a good meatball. Some of the onions came out, but that's okay. That's all right. Because you're gonna, the, the thing is, it's fine as long as it's in the pot. Because all that flavor from the yeah, onion the will onion's still going to go the into of the it. will go right into the meatball. Mm -hmm. It'll still that, add its Alan. delicious flavor. Mm -hmm. I can respect that. I get it. I know for some people the texture of mushrooms throws people off, but I love them. And they're so nutritious. Oh my God. Mm. So we got another little, about 15 minutes. About 15 minutes, minutes and I think it's going to be done by then. Mm -hmm. I, I think that I made them small enough that it looks like they'll, they'll be cooked. And keep in mind, even if they're just slightly under, it doesn't matter because you're going to put those into the sauce later. Once the sauce is ready to simmer, you put the meat in so it actually cooks further and further in the sauce over hours of time. So you don't need to worry about That's the hand motion for cooking yes. meatballs? Yes. Hmm, I'm learning new things every day. Mmm, yummy. Mm hmm mm hmm Sounds good. Okay, okay, Chef That's Boyardee. <laughs> Yes, Gale, this is DSP, and actually, so far, he's been a surprisingly good cook. I know, out of left field. I did not know that DSP did cooking videos, but so far, seriously, unironically, wow. <laughs> Back to the meatballs. Yep, so we're finishing up the meatballs. Unfortunately, a few of them burnt. Because uh, oh, I was no. chopping veggies, I didn't have a chance to rotate oh, it one no. last time before oh, now. No, oh no, uh oh. We were just praising you. No. You were shitting on grandma's toasted balls and now you're fucking, oh no. You can't roast grandma's balls and then burn your own. Oh. They're about to be done. So they're actually gonna get taken out and then we're gonna start making the sauce. Just sucks that a few of them burnt, but that's the way the, that's the way the meatball falls apart, I guess. All right? Wah, wah, this one wah. fell apart right here. See, just split. Yep. Oh wow. Well. It's fact, okay, sweetie. Gonna, I still love you. I'm gonna turn it down to low heat right now because it needs to be low heat to start making the sauce. Phew. And all these spices are gonna go into the sauce. Yep. We got leaves. So why do they fall apart? Is it because is it because there's not enough eggs or too much bread? I think it could be either one. It could also be that they weren't formed, they weren't packed well enough. It could also be that they cooked unevenly and so they came apart. Sometimes if you have large chunks of meat and you and you turn them at the wrong time, they're like cooked halfway through and then it'll fall apart or it'll peel apart. I don't know, it's hard to say. We got salts, we got peppers. You mm, think it was a heat issue? Good. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, they are definitely burnt, God damn it. Well, hopefully it'll tenderize it a little bit once it's in the sauce simmering for several hours. Mm -hmm. They don't come out like rocks, but we made them big enough that I think that they'll have some tenderness to them. Yeah, it might just not be the immediate outside. Right. Sometimes you get you eat one okay, and it's like got okay, that okay. hard crust. The this is recorded. If you burn your meatballs, start over again. Just run to the store. If you, if you're doing it for a video, if you're doing it for a video. You can say, oh, we burnt the first batch of meatballs. Here's our second batch. But don't just go forward with burnt meatballs. The entire dish is spaghetti and meatballs. You're filming functionally a tutorial video and you're proceeding with burnt meatballs. It's one of the things that, that irks me about bad cooking videos. 
you're recording it for a video. You can go to the store, get a second thing, and just make the meatballs again instead of posting your ultimate fail. As a tutorial, you're not teaching somebody if you burn the shit out of the meatballs, or if you t burn the shit out of the meatballs and then proceed to ruin the recipe with the mur burnt meatballs. It's such, I mean, you can post your L's. Like, let's be real. You can learn from somebody else's L's. You can post your L's sometimes, but don't post just your L's when you know it's an L. I don't know why, what, what, I don't get the logic. Why continue at this point? Just run to the store. I don't think DSP is like hurting for, for meat money. I'm looking at his kitchen. I bet he can afford some more meat and garlic. Just start it over. Inside saw. What are you doing? Look, it won't stop. Hit timer. Yes, go. correct, <laughs> Galay, correct. All right, I'm gonna start taking these out. Okay, you definitely wanna get that excess grease off of them. Ooh. Oh, oh no, those look terrible. Real homemade meatballs. You know, meatballs never do look pretty. No matter how you no, make them or where no, you get them from, they never... that's Cope. That's Cope. That's Cope from The Girlfriend. She's try I know she's trying to support him, but that is not true. She said that she's only ever had meatballs once, and they were her gran grandma's toasted balls. Her grandma's burnt, dried-out balls. That is not... No. You're not the professional. You... It is not true that meatballs always look bad. Oh my god. You have a pretty appearance. I mean, don't get me wrong. I appreciate that she's trying to support her boyfriend here, but at the same time, you just admitted 10 seconds ago that the only other time you had meatballs was a fail. Not unless they're factory made. Yeah, I've seen some pretty fucking balls. I see pretty balls all the time. You go to a fucking good Italian restaurant, you get some nice balls. Ew. Because I've seen factory made meatballs that look perfectly round, and you're like, you know that no human touched that. You know shit. that they put it like in a ball <laughs> mold and squeeze it. Ugh, gross. All right. Yeah, these are overcooked. I'm just hoping it's yeah. just the outside there that's overcooked. I no, it's not. This one looks like bran flakes. This one is burnt. These, these, these four here are burnt. There's a burnt spot on that one. This is way overcooked. God damn it. God damn it. I had hope for you, DSP. I think it's the just the outside. It's tough because it says the, the recipe, like I said, it's not an exact science. It said medium high heat. Mm -hmm. And I had it on medium high, exactly on medium high the whole time. And it cooked faster than the recipe calls for. That's the thing. Well, yeah, because every stove Everyone's is different. Every stove works differently, too. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Some of these are perfect, like that one right there. That's mm -hmm. gorgeous. Wow. If that's gorgeous, I feel so confident in my looks. <laughs> this one fell apart. This is the dud. What? Aww. It fell apart in the pan. It didn't cook or in the pot. It didn't cook properly. It is cooked through, as you can see. Mm, so but that's fine. Wrong. We're still going to toss it in. You know, mm -hmm. we're not going to waste it. It's still going to toss it in. It's going to give the, the, the... Wait a minute. Who accused me of pre-watch? I ob I objectively didn't. I objectively didn't pre-watch. Well, I mean, wait, not objectively. I specifically didn't pre-watch. I told Doe not to show me this so that I could watch it live with you all. Sauce more flavor. No all right, appreciation. So this is on low. Now what we actually need to do is start making the sauce. Mm -hmm. I used the wrong word. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these cans of peeled tomatoes and we're gonna open them. Cento brand. These are Italian peeled tomatoes. If you can't get Italian, your sauce won't taste right. And that was the problem we had at first. We could not find the Italian peeled tomatoes and we were nervous. Well, I was oh, nervous. Yeah, you were nervous. I had no it idea. It wasn't gonna taste right, but now, then we found them afterwards. And so. it's not just it's not just a, a nationality uh, pride thing. They're, no, know? they're actually different. Yeah. See. Look, well, you can't really see it there. Yeah. <laughs> they're longer. They're longer, and they have a different flavor than regular tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all tomatoes taste different. You wouldn't substitute a beef steak. So now we're taking our for food a, mill for a cherry tomato. <laughs> I love that. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, their structure is devolving. They're talking over each other more and more as the situation gets more stressful. 
Oof. Food mill to the pot. There you go. It's on low now, by the way. Mm-hmm. You take your tomatoes. No, they're they're using Italian long tomatoes. I don't know what that you means. Very carefully dump them into the food mill. Okay. It strains out a little, but you gotta you keep the can because you're gonna use it. All right. And now you grind the tomatoes. See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Catches up. You go back a little bit, and you go forward more, forward more, forward more. Oh, it starts to catch. Go back a little bit. That's how you hand strain tomatoes. Now what I'm going to need to do is grab a fork. Because you actually need a fork while you're doing this. To push the chunks down in front of the actual... Yeah, no, this is definitely a tutorial video. This, I, everything about this is a tutorial video, but they burnt the meatballs. From the actual milling. Milling. Yeah, because you you're, you're rotating a blade in there. There mm -hmm. you go. That's a great angle, sort of. You just do that until it's almost all completely pushed through. Yep, you're not going to get all of it through. Yeah. Some of the skins and stuff aren't going to go yeah, the through. the skins are very... And I'll take the fork again. Wait a minute. Yeah, at the beginning, he said the sauce was going to take forever. Is he going to leave the meatballs in there for that long? Don't you don't you want to add the meatballs, like, later on? Like, they'll still infuse the flavor. You don't want them to cook for the entire time the sauce is going, right? I don't know. That's something I don't know. I don't make, I don't make a lot of sauces. You add them, you add them when the sauce is like half done. Okay, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure about that. Try to mm. mush it up a little bit. Mm, they smell good. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. As Two says, you never, ever, ever want your balls to slough into the sauce. If your balls are sloughing, you have an issue. And how many cans are we using for this? We're supposed to use 70 ounces. I have no idea what that is in the metric system. Uh, a lot of people who I know who are probably interested. Yeah, over in the, over. So we only got, they only have 28 ounce cans, so we're going to do two and a half <laughs> cans of this. Static. So there you go. You have a, a can of Cento tomatoes, two and a half. Mm -hmm if you have the 28 ounce can. There are bigger cans, but we not in this area. Mm. You're pushing the thing off the, off the, the okay. burner a little. There you go, ha ha. Now one thing you can do, and this is totally up to you. As you can see, we've got all these big chunks of skin and everything. Mm -hmm. If you like chunkier sauce, mm. after you're milling this, if you can't get it to mill through, you could just put it right into the sauce afterwards, and that's your for totally more, your choice. Uh, rustic country taste to it. Right. If you don't, you're not looking just for for liquidy, but you're looking for you yeah, know. it's it's a preference for some people. What's your preference? I like a mix. Like I'll probably put some of this in there, but not all of it. Yeah. Yeah, I like when it's chunkier too. I mean, it depends on what pasta and other things I'd be having with. I think for like meatballs, I'd want chunkier, but sometimes you just want it smooth. Can you see the juices and stuff that are coming out of the bottom as I do this? See that? Ooh, yes. That's the hand ground tomato. Mm -hmm. Oh, when she showed in there, hold on, look. You can see, oh no, you can see burnt bits. Oh, that's like, that's like charred. Oh, yuck. Ooh, that's not good. Man. Ah, oh, dude, you were doing so good. You were doing, oh, I'm so sad. You were doing so good, my dude. Ooh, yes. That's the hand ground tomato. Mm hmm Ah, uh, the good old traditions of food milling your tomatoes. Ah, we finally got all the skin squished down. True! Striped Kidder says, Demon Mama, this is like watching a movie fall apart at the midway point. 
<laughs> so so true. We got halfway through the movie was so good to start and the ending just bungled it. Oh no. Okay, so now we're pretty much at the end. The more I mill, I'm not gonna get that much left. No. So I'll put a little bit, not too much, a little bit, right? There you go. Just to get it in, uh, some chunks in there. You'll get some tomato chunks in your sauce. Mm, I like tomato chunks. They add flavor. Not going to put all of it because that mm -hmm. would overload it. It would be way too chunky, especially keeping in mind we're doing two more cans. Well, mm -hmm. another can and a half. All right. So now I believe you're supposed to clean. All right, Uncle Gumball, I'm sorry. I got to call you out on this. You're the only one who's been looking at DSP's feet this whole time. No shame. No shame. But you're the only one in the chat, the entire chat. You're the only one who's been looking at his feet. Like I said, no shame. Respect to the foot lovers, but no. Clean this up, hold on. Fill the empty can halfway with hot water and pour it through the food mill and turn it to try to clean up. And use a paper towel to clean up the leftovers and do the same thing with the other two cans. <laughs> so, hot water. And these are instructions provided by your mom, who also provided us with things like the food mill and stuff that we don't have. The proper sauce equipment. Mm -hmm. This is my mother's family recipe. Mm-hmm, because your mom is the Italian one. Italian and Polish? Mm-hmm. Mm. It was her father who was almost 100% Italian. Wow. That taught her this stuff. But you don't know where they're from. Almost 100%. Bro, holy shit. He was so close. And he didn't fucking make it. Guys, that's so sad. He was almost 100% Italian and he didn't make it. It's what, it's what you don't say that really tells the story. He died before reaching 100% Italian status. Guys, that's fucking depressing. In any way. Uh, it might be... It starts with an F. <laughs> Do you know if it's north or south? Maybe F Foggia, F-O-G-G-I-A. I think that's what it was. Hmm. I'll have to ask your, your parents someday. Well, your mom. Your dad wouldn't know. Mm. All right, so that's it. You're, I'm going to be doing this for two more cans. You don't really need to see that, but that's what we're going to be doing until the next step. <laughs> all right, so we strained, well, we milled all of our real Italian tomatoes, and now what we're doing is we're adding three cans of tomato paste. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold, wait a minute. Earlier in this video, he shitted on tomato paste. And I said, maybe he just put the cans there. No, he fucking lied to us. He fucking lied to us. He was shitting on the tomato paste before, and now he's using tomato paste. Bruh. I can't believe, oh my, I can't believe Dark Side Phil will lie to me and the imps. Of all the people, I can't believe it was Dark Side Phil. To thicken it up? To thicken the sauce. Yes, that is because correct. Because the tomatoes would make it too liquidy. That's right. See, I know something about sauce. <laughs> We're using Hunt simply because that's all they have at our local stores. But that is not the one you would normally use back home in Connecticut? No, I believe it was called Contadina. was the one from... Fancy from, uh, Italian Pistos. name, basically. Right. But they don't have it out here. It's not out here at all. Well, remember, West Coast doesn't exactly have a high Italian population. Is that true? Is that true? Well, I guess they probably do it in some areas, depending on where you are. Sounds like the oven's heating up. I don't know. California has got Almost the same amount as the as the Midwest. I don't know. Whatever, let's continue. So then what you're supposed to do, supposedly, which I think this will be interesting to try to get this to work, you're supposed to take two of the cans, all right? 
<laughs> yeah, hot water. Mm. That's My fine. tummy. You fill up one can. You're supposed to pour it between the two to try to get some of that paste that's stuck in there unstuck. It makes sense that the hot water would loosen it. It's already starting to work. You're supposed to do this for all three cans. Hmm. To get the most out of your canned tomato paste. lot of water. Seventy ounces of sauce for six meatballs. What if his mom was just a bad cook and like her recipe actually just sucks? This oh true, wait, Twos brings up a good point. Tuz did say that he needs a lot of water if he's going to be simmering it all day. A lot of it might boil off, but still. Same thing. And by the way, this is the final step. After this, you just add all the ingredients to the sauce that you just toss right in. Mm, the onions and garlic? All kinds of stuff, you'll see. And the spices? Mmm, does smell good already. We haven't even added spices. But we're going to do something a little different from the traditional recipe. We're adding pepper this we're time. We're going to add a few things that's a little different from the traditional wow. recipe. Damn, exciting. You're really living on the edge there. Hmm, daring today, aren't we? That's what I, That's the only thing I can think of is that... We, oh, we're adding pepper? It's that daring... To, it's that, that Squidward. I, daring today, aren't we? That's the one. Squidward, you know? I don't recall if I've ever had like a, a pasta, like, well, this isn't technically just a pasta sauce, but I don't recall having a sauce where it has red pepper, but it might have just been small amounts. I'm curious to see how this will come out, because I have never had, well, at least it's been advertised, homemade sauce. Yeah, this is white people cooking for sure. Yeah. This is some white people cooking for sure. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. One more, the final one. Mmm, that's a nice red color. Okay. At the moment, it looks like viscera. It doesn't you look- You can do a lot of things with this sauce. You can make it in a big batch save it for a month, have pastas and, and grinders and I don't know if other things that require that sauce. <laughs> Impressive. Chicken parm, veal yeah. parm, parm, well, any kind of an Italian dish. I'm not as into chicken parm, but I know you love the different parms. I don't think I've had veal parm. <laughs> Auto roll 78 says demon mama Italian food is too ethnic to cook for a lot of white people. Okay No, it is not. Okay. I'm sorry. I Maybe for some white people, but Look I, I No It's what are you talking? No <laughs> Please God no at least not I don't know. I guess white people are pretty embarrassing sometimes. That's that. If, if 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 fucking Italian food is too ethnic for you, that's a fucking cracker moment right there. All right. So now we're pretty much done with the tomato ingredients. Now we move on to the things that are going to make the sauce unique. Okay. The spices and veggies. Yes. But first. Powdered onion salt and powdered celery salt or whatever he has over there, garlic salt, powdered onion salt and powdered garlic salt is not gonna make your sauce unique. I'm sorry, it's not. It's not gonna make it unique at all. 
we got to try to dilute that because remember that paste is all stuck yeah, at the all... bottom right now. Stir it up with the slotted spoon. And you see already, see how it got thicker when I started doing that? Because mm -hmm. the paste is now diluting. See the paste there? Mm -hmm. You got to dilute it with the slotted spoon. So you get a nice thickness to your pasta sauce. There's some technique involved in making this right. Got to have that, that perfect spooning. Breaking down. That's good. Notice I am using a plastic spoon. That is so it does not destroy the edges of your, your pot. Everything today you buy, almost everything you buy is non-stick, unless you buy something that looks like it's stainless steel on the inside. Mm -hmm. Everything has that non-stick coating, and this will prevent it from scraping the non-stick coating off of your pot and or paint the, or whatever you preserving. use. Hey! Hey! He's got that down! Credit! Fucking credit! Thank God. You gotta save your pot! The overall shelf life of your pots and pans. Pot. Because after a while, if it gets too scratched up, it's pretty much useless. All right, we're almost done here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add all the ingredients to finish it off and start it simmering. So. Mm. Mm. All right, so the final stirring. Mm -hmm. All done, right? Look at that. See that? You get a little bit of chunkiness to it. It's thick. It's rich. What? You all it kinds looks of pieces terrible. of tomato and stuff in it's there. It's so fucking watery. This can't be okay. This is not before the final cook. Okay, sorry. I thought this was. I thought this was the final reveal. My bad. I jumped the gun. Oh. Mm, I love tomatoes. And keep in mind, as this simmers, it'll actually cook mm -hmm. all those little pieces of tomato that are in there. And it'll reduce the liquidy aspect somewhat. All right. So now what we're gonna do? We're going to add all of these seasonings. Mm. Okay. All the way with oregano. Here we go. <sighs> 25 shakes. Mm, I like oregano. Garlic salt. I believe it's two shakes, yes. Now we have both garlic and onion salt, mm -hmm. so. I'm actually gonna do four shakes. Mmm. I, I would have taken it easy, buddy. You can't take salt back out, and that's a lot of salt. Onion salt. Four shakes or two? One, two, three shakes. Oh, only three. Red pepper which was not in the original recipe, but I wanted to have a little bit of kick, the sauce. So I'm gonna give it one, two, three, four, five shakes. A little bit of kick. A couple of red pepper flakes. Okay, bro. That seems like a good amount, not Keep too in mind, much. it's for the whole pot, and it's very big sh uh, chips, so probably didn't come out. The recipe calls that you can add a bay leaf if you want. I'm gonna add two bay leaves, mm. if not three. That's what I used when I made the brine for our barbecue chicken. I used four. One, two, ooh, three, I'm gonna add four. Okay. Four bay leaves for the whole thing, the whole pot. Mm. Now you can really start to smell the spices. Oh my God, yeah, I love the oregano. Cooking. Oregano um, and cilantro. Now, this is one important change I made. Last time I made this, the recipe calls for so far, this looks pathetic. A cup of sugar. I put a cup of sugar in there, and I thought that it was too sweet. Hmm. When I tasted the sauce, I was like, why does it taste so sweet? Doesn't My mom's sauce doesn't taste that sweet. So, I am not going to put that much. Hmm. Maybe half of it, or three quarters? I can get the fucking box open. There we go. A fucking cup of sugar? That is a lot. That is, I, and I do not like sweet, uh, I do not like sweet spaghetti sauces. I recognize that's a personal bias. I much prefer savory sauces, but even for people who like sweet sauces, a cup of sugar is a fucking lot. That's like, you're making it almost like a tomato syrup. 
A fucking cup? Dude, what? That's so it's much just sugar. Just three quarters of a cup. That's what I'm gonna put in there. Mm-hmm. And I got sugar all over the countertop. Well, I'll take care of that. Now, what does the sugar do in the sauce? Add sweetness, adds a contrast. If you don't, it's all damn deep. It's gonna be tartness, and you mm. won't have any it's kind of sweetness. It's gonna be acidity from to tomatoes. Right, you'll have and tart, spice. tart and it's acid and nothing else. Okay, but um, tomatoes are, have a lot right. of sweetness in them already. So now we're gonna stir all that in, and then we add our final ingredients, and then the meat. So let me get the slotted spoon again. Mm, mm, mm. Oh man, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love Start it. Start to smell it now. Mm, I love oregano. I have no idea, Rioma. So I wish good. I knew. You know, I when I was growing up, we never had oregano in the house. Never. No oregano in nope. the house. It's not it's not a spice we traditionally used. Keep in mind, every European country used different spices for most of their meals. Oregano is more common in Italians than, you know, my family. Okay. We used a lot of dill. I know that. Next. Onion and garlic, both chopped up. Okay. And then stir it up. And then, nope, finally your meat. And then you ah. stir it, and then you're done. Oh. Just double check. I'm almost positive that's it. Wait, you're, you're, no, you can't be. There's no fucking way. Okay, no, we have to keep watching. We have to keep watching. We have to keep yes. watching. Oh, yeah, the meat. Mm hmm. So add the meatballs. Doink. Oh, they float. Oh, that one's a piece of... He just put a piece of coal... Ah, he put two pieces of coal in. These are so burnt. Oh, it's disgusting. And that one didn't. guess what else oh, we're going to add? Oh, he's sausage. just dropping coal... Bri <gasps> he's, he's literally dropping charcoal briquettes in. Italian sausage. That's going to go in here, too. I love sausage. Wait, where the, did they make the sausage? Many varieties of both Italian and non-Italian. I'm pissed at these burnt. I really am. Oh, it's okay. Refilm it! You had all day to refilm it! D don't be a lazy shit and upload a tutorial with burnt meatballs. Go re- Just go make some new ones! Bro! Shouldn't have burnt. It's, oh, it makes me so mad. You know, new pot, it's different stove. Mm -hmm. diff also, do a test run. If you're unfamiliar with your stove, do a test run before you film it. Different everything. You, know, you don't know what temperature to turn it. Well, we know now for next time. And it could just be the out. Okay, it's a low blow, but tarpalicious. I gotta say, you're right. It really does look like fucking menstrual shits. I'm sorry, I know it's a low blow, but bro, fucking tell me that's not what it looks like. It's, this is bad, this is grim. Outside's not so good, the inside could still be good. Sorry, yeah, it's just true. Thinking of something. Mm, look at that. Mm. I think we're gonna skip the sausage because I don't remember if you're supposed to pre-cook it any at all. You probably are a little, but I didn't. I you know. Yeah, well, they're skipping. Wait, that. Oh my God, they're skipping an entire portion of the meat dish. Oh, dude. Oh, oh well. no. We what do you mean? No. Another day Just and we'll do it. Shoot a we second could, we could video. We could sausage oh. off and make like sausage and peppers or something. Mmm, I like sausage mm -hmm. and peppers. All right, so now we gotta lower the heat. Now that everything's in. Okay, mm -hmm. lower it out there. Just to simmer all day, low setting. 
and okay, then you fair, come back and stir it fair, every half hour or so. Look at all God, those ingredients. This took, look, this took a fucking dark turn. We really gave DSP a chance. I opened by saying, damn, it's looking like it's going in the right direction. This took a turn for the worst. God, has this gone off a dark turn. Holy, holy shit. Ingredients in there. Mmm. It does look a little chunky so far, but not too I should have known better, it's DSP. But okay, it's I should have known better, but at the same time, chalk it up to my, chalk it up to my hope that people can, I try to live the Chef Gusto spirit that anyone can cook, potentially even DSP. Chunky is the onions, because I'm not good at chopping onions. I'm not, I can't cut them small. You know, I'm not a professional chef. So I can cut on you the good small. thing is <laughs> we are seeing now is going to cook over the course of four and a half hours and you will not see those chunks. They're all going to caramelize. They're going to be the clear kind of onion and they're going to be reddish and you're not going to really taste them that much. Hmm. The but the onion does be... add a bit of flavor. Oh, yeah. Or the oh. onion salt cannot. Then why use the onion salt? salt? Wait, then why use the onion salt at all? Why not just use salt and fresh onions? Why use onion salt? Substitute for onion. All right. So now, the lid. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You set the timer. How do you do this? Temp time up. We'll set it for 22 minutes for now. And what you do is you wait about every 20 to 25 minutes. You come in here, you stir it with a wooden spoon, or you could use that slotted spoon too, but we'll use wooden spoon. Does the wooden spoon add anything mm -hmm. other than authentic Italian nah. experience? <laughs> so, and that's it. You just let it simmer all day, right? Right now it's 12.30. Well, that's actually wrong. It was 12, like 20, 20. Yeah, that was not fast by like 10, 15 minutes. So, you know, it's gonna cook for about four to four and a half hours. So you figure 4.30 by, or five-ish at the latest, mm -hmm. it'll be ready to go. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you can use it for anything. Like I said, pasta, meat dishes, you can make a, we were gonna do meatball subs, but I don't know now if we're going to now because those meatballs look really overcooked. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they're gonna taste. We'll have to see once it's, once it's simmered, will they? Well, we got that sausage and we got all. that uh, pasta, just in case as a backup. We mm -hmm. got two options. So there you have it. That is the basic premise of how to do it. Mm -hmm. And because of, you know, what I set up today to do for work, I'm going to be coming back down here, you know, every half an hour. <laughs> Prozy Rosie says, people in Sicily would shoot them on sight, John Wick style. <laughs> You're fucking true! If you tried to serve this to like, oh God, what if he went home and tried to serve this to his nearly 100% Italian father? If his nearly 100% Italian father ate this, he would lose two Italian experience points. <laughs> An hour or so. And I'll be coming down too, I'm sure, to stir to when you're, sauce, yeah, when you're mid-fight. Whatever, you know, and uh, really that's it. That, it's mm -hmm. complicated, it's a lot of steps. But this is not an exact recipe, every recipe is different. Yeah, anyone can make mm -hmm. it. There's tons of ways to do sauce. It's mm -hmm. just, this is the so it's more personal preference. traditional style of how to do it. I love how when his, when his girlfriend asked him where his family was from, he was like, oh, I can't remember, it's something with F. It's like, uh, forget about it, or something. I can't believe he got away with that. And with a few touches, like I said, of my own, a few changes. Red pepper flakes and stuff and less sugar. Based off of the last time that I made it, when it just tasted, it tasted too overwhelmingly sweet. It's a trial and error recipe, pretty much. Hell yeah, fun, so, right? Today we did it. We'll see how it is. If you like it, make it like that. The quipping says, this is so painful to watch. Why do you watch this? Because it's awesome. Are you kidding me? I, I live for bad cooking content. I love this shit. Bad cooking content is the best. It's so good. It's so good. And next time, if not, we tweak it some more, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm sure it won't be horrible. It's just that you, know, <laughs> you have personal tastes. At least you're confident it won't be horrible. Yeah, no, there's no way. Ooh, it's gonna be ooh, decent. Ooh. You know? 
Are we gonna get to see? Are we gonna get to see them taste test it? Ooh, no matter what, be with, all, with all the work that we put into it and all the ingredients and shit in there, of course it's gonna be good. Mm-hmm. So. It already does smell good. All right, that is it for. <laughs> Passion FM says, bro, literally went down to my dive bar, had a drink, ordered pot stickers, and this is still going. Did I miss a stun lock? Nah, nah, we're just running on hell energy. That's what we're doing tonight. Ah, that's what we're doing. How to make my traditional Italian sauce. Family recipe Italian sauce. It's gonna simmer in there now for a while. And we'll see it in four to four and a half hours. Yes, we will. Mm. Yeah, let's have the reveal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we finally have a result. So what? They made meatball subs? Oh, you want a you want a mlem? Here's a mlem. There you go. There's a mlem for you. Let's return. Something that I have cooked, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. And the result of my long day laboring over a pot of sauce and meat, we have... Uh-oh. That right there looks like fucking Dave's cooking. That is pathetic. That is fucking pathetic. And meat, we have homemade meatball subs, which Leanne is about to dig into. Now, the, the meatballs themselves, unfortunately, got a little bit singed on the outside, oh, but when we actually- Oh, no! Oh no, watch now, your the, face. The meatballs themselves unfortunately got a little bit seen. That's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. Singed on the outside, Marinara! but when we actually Wait! Marinara, it's so good to see you again! Welcome back, the OG VIP! Welcome back, it's great to see you. I hope you're doing well. Everybody give your hugs to Marinara. You may not know it, but Marinara is one of the longest time members of this community. A true and genuine OG. Give your love to Marinara. Great to see you again. Hope you're doing wonderfully. Put them in here. The, the meat looked perfectly cooked. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. My homemade meatball subs. What do you think? It is the most sexual meatball sub I've ever had. Really? Mostly sexual. because I've never had one before. But you never I... had a meatball sub? Wow. Hello, not Italian. I guess that's true. True, Yasmin. True. So, yeah, well, we, I did, mm. you know, you take the meatballs out, you put it right onto the... These look pathetic. These look fucking pathetic. Sub and they're already covered in the sauce from simmering all day. Then you put a little bit more sauce, you sprinkle mozzarella cheese, mm -hmm. and I actually give it a sprinkling of Italian seasonings on top, as you can see. Two homemade meatball subs for dinner. Leanna's having one. If she's hungry enough, she'll have a second. We'll have to see. So is it good? You like it? Mm -hmm. Great. And that's, that is the fruit of four and a half hours of hard labor, but it's worth it. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. So what I want to show Oh wait, this is extra! Show you is the final product and just how much sauce We get a bonus, everybody! This is the leftovers! You can make oh, with that one pot no. that we did today. So right here in the fridge, we've got two of these containers. Let me show you, pull it out here. Two of these containers, it's full of sauce. It's heavy. This is enough for one meal each, pretty much. And what we did is we... Oh, hey, hold on a second. What did I spot in here? All right, we got purple? Red Bull, interesting, I've never heard of that flavor. We got the Sobeys, and up here we got Ramune. Ramune. Ramune is the marble soda. All right, credit, guy's got good taste in drinks. He's got some, he's got some good beverage preferences. Having Ramune in 2014 means that's like weeb signaling. Ramune is everywhere now, but like in 2014 or whatever, and that's some that's some hardcore weeb stuff for one meal each pretty much and what we did is we separated them up some of them have meatballs in them and some of them don't okay some of them are just sauce so for example later this week we're gonna have pasta whatever pasta we have i like the meatball so i'll have it with it leanna might not want the meatball so she just gets the plain sauce you can keep two of these in the fridge and they last about a week but what we also did of course is we are freezing where is it? 
we're freezing four more. And yes, they're all full to the top. Two more have meatballs in it, two more don't. Yeah, nice half and half. So there you have it. That's pretty much, you know, six meals plus the two that we had today. So really it's about eight meals overall that you get out of that one pot. And we just found out today we had this drawer. Well, yeah, yeah we exactly, exactly. As Cotton D-Pad says, why, I wonder why she wouldn't want the meatballs. Yeah, maybe it's because they were fucking burnt to a crisp. 85D2D Derek, thank you so much. Missed most of the stream, but I want to pop in and say hi. I'll go back and watch it. Oh, 85D2D Derek, this stream has been a goddamn banger. You go back and watch that VOD, you're going to have a great night. I assure you, you have no idea what you're in store for. Just wait till you get to the drama segment, okay? It was a gift, a gift from fucking hell itself. When we had this back drawer in the fridge, which is kind of funny. It's perfect that these things fit there. Mm. So there you have it. We got our pasta dinner already. You know, all we got to do is make Drop pasta later this week, pour the sauce, you know, nuke the sauce in the microwave, put it right on. We've got other dinners lined up. We want to do something with Italian sausage. If we want to do chicken parm, veal parm, it doesn't even have to be parm. It could be some other meals that you get peppers and stuff. You chop them up with it. You got plenty of sauce. And that is the cool thing about making a pot of sauce. It's not just one thing. It lasts you a long time. You know it's a lot of work. As you can see, we finally cleaned up, of, we cleaned up the kitchen. You get a ton of meals out of it, and so it's definitely worth it. Which and is more than the meals I've been making. Those are one <clears throat> meal, unless you make a big portion, right? which we don't. So, yeah, that moving forward, we're probably going to end up doing that at least once a month. Maybe every three weeks, we'll have to see. Yeah, okay. And the best time to do it is on... It's possible that future iterations of this recipe are better. But if he's going to cook it so frequently, why post this one? Why post this one? On Sunday when I'm playing Street Fighter and you have the little intervals of time where you can come down and stir the sauce and get right back to, to the mm -hmm. work, so. We could even maybe do it on Saturday and then freeze it ahead of time. Yeah. We shall see. Mm -hmm. We shall see what happens with I the think, schedule I moving think forward. so, Danny. Mm -hmm. I think All right, they thanks did. everyone for joining us for the family a recipe homemade style italian sauce hope that you enjoyed it if you learned anything you think you may try it out yourself keep in mind it's not an exact science which is why a lot of the times we didn't even give you the exact measurements you can do it yourself to your own liking all right egg now i have heard there is actually more dsp uh I've heard there is more DSP cooking out there, but I don't have them prepped for this stream. That was an absolute wild ride. That was genuinely one of the most, I mean, what a perfect roller coaster ride to, to come back on.